What's up guys, Infernape here. I'm here with... Oh, ring a ding ding. Hello everybody. My name is the Actor Amnesia. And it's time for another collaboration. Today, we're bringing you our top five favorite theme songs from the Pokemon anime. Yay! <laughs> we uh, uh, pre chose in these. Like, we uh, listen to all the theme songs. Yep. We discuss like, which ones we yep. prefer. And now we're going to put them in a top five. Top five. So, without further ado, let's, let's get, get into, into the video. video. <laughs> right, number five, we have Gotta Catch Em All, but it's from the Pokemon I Choose You movie. I personally like this re uh, the remix more than the uh, actual intro, because I feel the, the actual we Robert said the same thing, that the it's overplayed. Yeah, it really is overplayed. Uh, like, everybody uh, like, knows it. I'm pretty sure, at least... Half of you, if not all of you, know the lyrics. At least, like, at least a few of the lyrics. Yeah, man. Like, like they, they had like um, lyrics on the video we were watching, and I said to Robert, "Who the f needs lyrics?" Like, literally, everybody would probably know the lyrics by heart by now. Family friendly, Doctor Amnesia here, kids. <laughs> okay, at number four, we have Pokemon Johto, and this is the third ever theme song Pokemon has ever created. I uh, yeah, I like this theme song because it, it's cheerful. It's got a got a bum 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 bum. It's got a, got a bit of a beat, and uh, I like that in a theme song. I like things that are cheerful and happy. Yeah, it also has a great message. Like I uh, basically that like, keep fighting, be strong, and all that jazz. Yeah. But it, all that jazz. That was. Um, yeah. Again, I like that in a in an anime and a song. Like uh, most of the other animes that I've seen have that sort of thing, such as Sword Art Online, such as Dragon Ball. All have that sort of be happy, be strong, fight through the darkness sort of feel to it, and that's what I like about that song. Yeah, that song is quite a popular with quite a few people. Okay, number three, we have. Po uh, oh, that's not the right one. <laughs> Advanced Battle. And I really like this song, so does David. Like The guitar riff is great. The lyric lyrics are pretty good as well. The meaning is just great. Yeah, again, uh, hidden meanings in songs uh, in anime is something I personally love. Um, yeah, I like things with good beats again. Um, the guitar, I love guitar. I used to play electric guitar at school. And it just, uh, it sounds amazing. It's a good song. Like, I definitely like like the Hoenn season uh, quite a bit, but I'm I'm a bit sour that Ash didn't evolve any of his Pokemon apart from Swellow and Grovile. Yeah, man. And like, it's a set, you know? Like, that, that, that's just Pokemon, though. Like, that, that's just how Pokemon is, I, I still don't get why he hasn't um, like, evolved his Bulbasaur and Squirtle yet. <laughs> yeah, man. It, look, the, the, the first thing I'm going to say is they ran out of money. <laughs> I'm kidding guys, I'm kidding. I'm not shitting on Pokemon. <laughs> At number two we have Master Quest. Now considering this was made a like quite a, a long time ago, mm -hmm. the uh, the anime was really good. Two thousand five, wasn't it? I have no idea how long ago it was made. Like I don't think it was two thousand and five. Okay. <laughs> I, I I just chose a random year and thought it was so <laughs> So, uh, like, the anime was good, but I, again, I don't get why Ash didn't evolve, like, pretty much any of his Pokemon at all. Yeah, like, like that, that's the only downside to, um, Pokemon in that series. I, I just, I don't see the point of him not evolving Pokemon. I mean, it's there. Evolve yeah. them. Yeah, literally, like, I think the only Pokemon he actually evolved on his team was his Chikoritan and went into Bayleaf. And Bayleaf is just so stupid. Yeah, man. Like, especially, like, every time it literally body slams Ash. And it, I think Ink, like, is madly in love with Ash and actually wants to be in a, a weird couple. <laughs> you have some weird fanfics, Robert. You have some weird fanfics. Indeed I do. <laughs> okay, at number one is actually a tie because we couldn't decide. So we decided to put it in a joint number one. It is Stand Up Season 12. And we will carry on season 13. We both love of the Gen N4 anime and both uh, all of the Gen 4 games. Yeah, you see, Gen 4, the, um, the anime actually made sense. He actually evolved his Pokemon. Other than Buizel. Yeah. And Gibble. No one likes Buizel. Yeah, Get over yourself. <laughs> um, Buizel, yeah. Yeah, like that, that, that series was just good. It had the best filler, you know, it was good. Skyringer, whatever it's fucking called. 
A poker ringer. Poker ringer. I don't care what it's called. Like, he probably had the best rivals in that. Yeah, man, he did, yeah. Like, he had Paul, he had Barry, he had Tobias, he had Nando. Like, there were so many rivals. Isn't Nando like a chicken shop? <laughs> okay, that's the end of that. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he basically, I, I still oh, I don't get it. Like, I went and I actually first found out that someone called Nando was in the uh, series. I first thought they named someone um, in the Pokemon season after a chicken shop. I know, right? It's, it's, just, it's, just, it's like great. They're not like I was expecting some Japanese name because, you know, Pokemon Japanese. Why don't they have Japanese names? Well, Barry is not a, a sort of Japanese name. Barry can go and F himself. Family friendly here, guys. Yes, family, family friendly. friendly. I meant fudge, guys. I meant fudge. <laughs> totally didn't mean the other thing. Yeah, Stand Up is a really good uh, like icon song. It has great meaning behind it. Don't you think, David? Yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah. It, ha- it t- basically tells you to stand and up, uh, believe what's right and all that. We Will Carry On is also a great song. has great meaning. And I just really love that song. I love the Sinnoh League. And I still don't get how Tobias knocked out uh, like only three of his Pokemon, oh, Ash's Pokemon, and Sceptile knocks it out in one hit. And David's still uh, working on why he, uh, Tobias had Ice Beam on his Dark Ride. Why? <laughs> um, I mean, apart from that, guys, there's not much to say in the video. Yeah, and that's all we have time for. I hope, hope you check out David's channel, Dr. Amnesia. Thank you, guys. And th- thank you uh, for coming on the video. Thank you for uh, having me. Okay, until the next time, this is Infernate. This is Deactor Amnesia. Signing, Signing out. out. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.